the romance between Felicia and Corey started off hot and heavy. But now, after only one year of marriage, they say they're finished, and everyone is asking why. Because of all the cheating. All the cheating and all the lying, and I was paying bills by myself. I got put out my place. Tell her I, why I cheated, though. I, tell her why I cheated, okay. though. Well, well, why don't you tell me why tell you cheated? Tell her why I cheated, because she's not the typical woman that a man is supposed to marry. Felicia and Corey have come to the end of their road. Today on Divorce Court. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Felicia Grant and Corey Lee. The two of you have been married one year, and you have one one-month-old son together. Oh. And you're ready to call it a day. Uh, you have some issues about the wedding ring and, and, and cars that you would like to deal with. Before we get there, though, Mrs. Grant, I want to know what went wrong and why we're in divorce court today. I'm here today because I want a divorce from my husband. I'm tired of him lying. I'm tired of him cheating. I'm tired of him not having no job. He don't want to be a man. He don't want to work. He just want to sleep all day. And to top it off, he left to Atlanta and made me have my baby by myself. Oh. When I tell you, Judge, I was on the cesarean table by myself. My mama was there to help me. He was nowhere to be found. I'm sitting on the table. I'm asking my mama, how could he do this to me? My baby had his umbilical cord wrapped around his throat. Oh. He was not there. In Atlanta with the next female. Left three days. He knew the date I was going to be induced. He left three days before. All because I decided that I didn't want to be in this marriage no more. That doesn't make any sense. You still have to be there for your son. He did that to me. He knew it would hurt me because I, with my first son, I was left alone by myself to have him. And for him to do that to me again, okay. I'm done. Had you, had you, you two decided to split before the baby came? Yes, okay. because of all the cheating. Right. All the cheating and all the lying, and I was paying bills by myself. Right, right. I had to pay by myself. I got put out my place. Tell her I, why I cheated, though. I, tell her why I cheated, okay. though. Well, well, why don't you tell me why tell you cheated? Tell her why I cheated, because she's not the typical woman that, uh, uh, that a, man, a man is supposed to marry. Okay, like, explain that. Like, I'm, I'm saying this. She, okay, the exterior, it looks good, but without... All of that, it's all bad. Like, when we go home, it's arguing, fighting. I can't get a decent meal. I even bought a car, a new car, so she can drive, and I would drive the other car. I right. bought a new car for her. But no. When she took the car, one day, she called me, called me, called me. I didn't answer the phone. So she got mad and scratched my car up. Not just oh. one scratch. She scratched the front, the back, the side, the other side. So every time I go to one of my family members' house mm. or uh, somewhere, they, everybody's like, Ooh, Ooh, what happened to you? Who, who, did, uh, who did that to your me, car? And I'm like, can my I tell wife. You why I did? They're can like, I, can man, I tell you what's why going I did? Can I tell you why I did? You can tell okay, me why you so did. Okay, so he like, oh, I'm gonna go drop my friend off real quick. Uh -huh. I said, oh, okay. His phone <laughs> called me on accident. He talking to the female. Hey, Ma, let me take care of you. I got you. It's good. I get money every day. I'm, the one I'm with ain't really the one. She ain't holding me down. I need someone solid. You solid, Ma. Did that happen? Yeah, of course it happened. Okay. So, of course it happened. Okay, so <laughs> she, I'm mad. She, Stop. She is her, her mentality, like her woman. Hood is not good. Like, what, 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 what's, what's good womanhood to you? Okay, <laughs> womanhood is if you stay home, you cook, you clean, you take care of your husband and make sure he gets out there oh, and mm, gets the money. So you want to stay can I know, Hang on, hang on. You want to stay at home wife. Yes. And you go out and make the money. Exactly. Okay. But he don't do that. But, okay. But you crazy. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Lee, if you two don't quit hollering and arguing in here, okay. Mr. Right. Lee. Were you supporting the home economically? Lightweight. Okay. But so when she if was you're on thin ice, she was on thin ice. If though. you're lightweight, you expect her to come full while you come lightweight. She got to prove to me. Because, first of all, she, she was on thin ice. I was trying to make a transition to move from my own place to her place. Right. But I knew that if I was to leave my place mm -hmm. and move with her, we would fight. And she would kick me out. She kicked me out five times. Luckily, I had my own place, why so I could you, just move my stuff back to my own married? place. Why did you get married? We got married because in the beginning, it was money. all good. Because oh, I had money. Oh, but Hang he on. knew what I was about. You well, knew from the beginning. You, you knew that I like nice things. 
I like to go shopping. That's, that's what makes me happy. Money gold makes digger. me happy. Gold digger. So it's not a gold digger because if I was a gold digger, I wouldn't be with him because he ain't got enough money. But see, her intentions me. ain't. So gold her, digger. Her intentions is to go to the club. I see what you're saying. Her intentions okay. is to go to the club and spend money when I'm trying to save money to buy a house so I can raise my family. Okay. Right. But right. she's steady so, hitting me up. I will ask. She will ask me. Oh, no. can you go have on this for my son? Okay, I'll go have. But then when it's my turn to ask her to go have. Oh, not having so, it. Yeah. Oh, okay, you're not a man. You're less she, of a man because you I, can't I'm get it on you, your I own. I understand you, and Mr. I'm Lee. I'm like, everything is 50-50. I understand you, know you I mean? Mr. Lee. Ms. Grant, you go ahead. What, what did you have to say? No, I'm saying far as the part of him talking about some... He's supporting his son. He just started that a month and a half ago. How old is he? Pregnant. How old is he? I was pregnant. The whole time, by myself, I bought everything. When I say I, I went and got us a bigger place for us to be a family, he, he didn't have no money after that. He used his school loan money to sway Come me on, into man. marrying him. Ms. Grant, I think you saw him as an ATM machine, and when the ATM went dry, so did your love for him. No, you know, I know you, you, you came in here, and you said he knew who I was when he got me. I like nice things. That means it, it, it was his money that attracted you I... and not that you wanted to share your life and your future with him. When Divorce Court continues, will Corey offer a reasonable explanation to Judge Lynn? Mr. Lee, if you didn't trust her enough to move in with her, why marry her? Why didn't you trust me? Divorce isn't easy. Call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com or become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Divorce Court is back with the case of Corey Lee, who claims his wife Felicia is not to be trusted. But is Corey the pot calling the kettle black? Did you cheat on her regularly while you were together? I ain't cheated on her for the first six months. Ooh. Oh, oh. Were you helping pay rent when you were living no. with your yes. wife? No. It was one no. point in time where I was helping her with rent. She what needed like mean? $350. I came Man. with two. She was like, oh, that's not enough. And I'm steady telling her, okay, well, help me help you pay this rent. Let's do it together. She's like, no. You need to the get out there and get it yourself. I came up with, you need I to get out there and get it yourself. It. And I'm like, how are we going to be married and together and you're not willing to come together and, and, and well, accomplish if, something? Well, if the rent was $800 and you came up with 200 and she was doing the rest, that's putting in. The, that's, that's putting oh, in exactly. more than you. That's way but, more than But you. I still have my own place. I still have my own bills. Oh, let me tell you what I, 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 I say. Because I got to pay my bills, and then I have to pay her bills. You. And then I don't want to put all my eggs in one were basket you guys and stay doing with her. The, Were you paying her rent before you two got married? No. No. Mr. Lee, if you didn't trust her enough to move in with her, why marry her? Why didn't you trust me? I want to know that question. I mean, I don't, I did, I don't I understand, trust. I don't understand okay. yeah, that's the decision a good to marry. That's yeah. a good question. That's yeah. a good point. But I thought we can get past that. I thought we could work on that because Overall, yeah, she's a beautiful woman. Yeah, she takes care of her kids. And she portrayed to be the wife that I wanted. And then, after a while, she basically just Did took her you, mask okay. off and then, bam, it just hit me. So you, you, you got the bait and switch is what you're saying. Exactly. She, she presented as one thing and she didn't show up as Same that. Thing he let the me honeymoon ask, stage. Let me ask you, stage. Mr. Lee, let me ask you this. Did you cheat on her regularly while you were together? I ain't cheated on her for the first six months. Oh, oh, he lying. Oh, 180 days. Ooh, he 180 lying. days. The he first, lying. the first six you, months. Can I tell you? The first. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm just being honest. Mm -mm. The no, first six months, it went from being good to all bad because <laughs> I stopped splurging on her and I thought about, okay, no I want to start months. a family. I want to, I want to save up. I want to buy a house. I want my own business. It's mm, just things I need mm, to work toward. Mm. I have to save money. All but this, you didn't want a big all ball these... all the time. You wanted to do something secure. You wanted exactly. to do something for tomorrow and set up, exactly. which seems like a reasonable plan, Ms. Grant. Were you, did you object to the fact that he started stop spending flash money and was trying to do foundation money? He didn't have no foundation oh, money, Mike, Judge. Are you serious? I want to see the foundation are you money. Are you serious? I ain't never seen that. Are you I make way more never money than you do. Never twenty dollars here. I make way. I make three times as much money as you do. And I, well, in that case, why wasn't my time. rent paid? Okay. I'm not Mr. Lee, you say you cheated with thirty or forty women. No. 
I didn't you know. didn't say that? No. My people got it wrong. Yeah, yeah. Was it three or four women? No. <laughs> Just I one cheated woman? With that. She probably said that, but I haven't cheated. Mm, no. He is you so don't way. think so? It's no, the it's six no month way. thing, the six it's month no thing, way. are you saying he was living with another woman oh, when I no. met him and I didn't even know <laughs> until after the fact he moved in with me. Oh, the girl called my phone. So where's my own place don't at? Don't say so nothing. I'll put it by my place, then when though. I call his phone, she answered, talking about he'll be there when we get done. She ain't showed up at my house. Oh. Now, Look. knowing all of that, Ms. Grant, why did you marry him? I'm not gonna, I, I loved him and I was stupid. Hey, money, money. When Divorce Court continues, did Felicia dupe Corey into marrying her? How do you feel she manipulated you into marrying her before, in fact, you were ready? She doesn't discuss it with me. She just makes plans. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and follow us on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court returns with the case of Felicia Grant, who claims she's tired of her husband Corey's infidelity. But does Felicia take her frustrations too far? She drove no. to my cousin's house and ran my car in the front. Mr. Lee, do you feel like you got rushed to the altar, that, 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 that you weren't quite ready? Yeah, basically. Because, see, I, I, I proposed to her. I, I, I thought we was going to be engaged for at least a year or two years. Well, how long but did she you know made her the call, like, OK. She, this, how this long is what did she you does. know her before you proposed to her? Um, mm, two months. No. No, Two months. no. Mr. Lee, it was about tell four me. months. About four months. Four so months that was pretty quick, most. right? It was quick, but I was letting her know that I'm real serious, and mm -hmm. this is what I want to do if everything works out. Because I can always back out of the engagement. I can't back out of the marriage. So well, well, she calls. How does one rush you to the altar? You can decide when to go and when not to go. How yeah. do you how do you feel she manipulated you into marrying her before, in fact, you were ready? Because what she does is, she, when she plans on doing things, she doesn't discuss it with me. She just makes plans. And yeah, then but she'll you can call say, well, me. no, babe, I'm oh, not doing that. She'll... You have to say, I do. The, the, the guy doesn't stand up there, mm. do you take this woman? And you say, no, I don't. You're not married. That's you true. had to say, I do. So, so there was a decision that you made. Yeah, that's true. To marry her. <laughs> and I want to know, if you feel like you were manipulated into it, how did that happen? She, well, I didn't want to make her feel bad. She invited her friends and her family, and they're like, oh, this is a beautiful day and stuff like that, so... So it and, was a surprise so, wedding, like... Yeah, yeah, basically, she called... She called the county office and said, oh, I want to get married, and made that appointment, and then she told me, like, okay, I made it for Friday. We're going to be down there at 2 o'clock, and I'm and like, hold on. And that's the time when a man steps and say, he he up and says, I'm not ready. Hold on. I, I should have. I should have. I'm not ready. I should have. When I figured out it was bad was I'm chilling at my cousin's house, mm -hmm. and we're on the phone. We get into an argument. I said a few words that hurt her well, tell feelings. Tell me what the words is. Tell me right. what the words is, please. I, I just wanted to so make no, her so mad. That, no, when Basically, he had, I wanted to yes, make he her did. mad. And he knew that was she a soft spot. Mad. How small is that? That's what he does. That's yeah, what I he do. does. I he do. makes me mad. She, she and then he gets, gets mad me. when I get mad. She How you gonna make me, me mad and, and then get so mad when I get mad? I will say something to break her down. But this time, she drove to my cousin's house and ran my car in the front. And the No, no, no. Tell the story. No, tell it right. No, what happened was She ran her car into my car. I knew where he was. I drove to his cousin's house. I seen him outside. I walked up to him. I had a soda in my hand, an orange soda. I said, what did you say? He said, I said in the middle of his sentence, I threw the soda on him. <laughs> Hopped in my car, backed up, hit his car. He punched my window out. Glass no, everywhere. You hit my car twice, Mrs. the front and the Ms. back. Oh, yeah, I did. How ridiculous is you that? You know what, you're and right. That's who I married. But I was How angry. That's who I married. I angry. It was so Everybody much. gets angry, Mrs. Grant. You know, you can't say I acted a fool because I was angry. Mm. I mean, a, you know, a difficult situation is when, or, 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 or hurt or disrespect or whatever, that's when you have to be grown. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Any two-year-old can get angry. Yes. The, the fact that something negative happens to you is not it, 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 is not me an out excuse. of my character. When Divorce Court continues, will Felicia meet Corey's demands? Basically, I want her to not call me unless it has something to do with my son. Divorce Court returns with the case of Felicia Grant and Corey Lee, who are jumping ship after only one year of marriage. You know, usually I try to do a lesson and, 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 and dangle the possibility of reconciliation at the end, especially when children are involved. You got a one-month-old. And when I saw you guys had only been married a year, I thought, well, maybe we can re restart this thing. Clearly, no. that is not the case. No. Clearly, that is not the case. You guys got to put down all the rhetoric. Just back that's it up. What, that's what I want to do. Back up all the rhetoric. Mm -hmm. So you got anything you want to say? Um, basically, I want her to not call me unless it has something to do with my son. If it's anything else, because she will call and be like, oh, I need some gas or I need some bills paid. No. If my Mrs. son Grant, needs do some you diapers, do that? she, she does that to her son's dad. No money. She does that to her son's dad. Oh, no, because she, she, she takes care of his. She, he will give her money for her son, some shoes and clothes, and she will go get her hair done. Like, come on, man. I ain't never did serious? that. I ain't so never, that makes every, me uncomfortable everything to I give buy her money. for my son. That so makes what me do uncomfortable you plan to, to give do her now, money. Mr. Lee? What do you plan to do now? You're out of the house? I'm moving on. Are you out of the house? Not yet. I will okay. be as soon as what we you... get home. Oh, yeah, oh. pack that fast. Yeah. Go okay. ahead. So you, you've got you. a new place to go. It's all done. Yes, it's all Oh, done. yeah, and with another we're, female, we're, that's okay. all he's gonna do. That's what he does. Now, you guys are young. You need to, you know, scale back on the procreation business, okay? You, you have to... Yeah. You know? Because you're financially not secure, emotionally you're not secure, you keep going from person to person to person, that's not good for the little people. So let's scale back on that. Can we do that? Mm -hmm. Tell me, uh about the $200 you want me to grant you for Mr. Lee. Oh, from when he broke my window. Okay. I had to so, pay but, for it. So you drove over there, threw orange drink in his face, backed into his car, and you're gonna sue him for the, two, the, the window he broke after you did that. Okay, dokie, Mr. <laughs> Lee, tell me about the $375 you want from Mr. Mrs. Grant. Well, she, uh, pawned my ring, the wedding ring. She pawned it? She oh, pawned it. I, let me tell you why and I pawned it. And she talking about bills. I will, I'm gonna let okay. you. Why yeah. did you pawn them? I pawned it because I was out of my place. I didn't have no money, no gas, no nothing. Mm. I needed it. I was no. pregnant, living with my mother. I didn't have nothing. I didn't have no money to. Get. Whose rings did you pawn? Yours or both yours? No, just mine. She just didn't give one. me no ring. It, it she didn't buy me no ring. Yeah, I don't belonged, I'm, I'm, you know, the ring belonged to her. When you put it on her finger, it belonged to her. So she has a right to pawn it. Do you throw it in the toilet and flush it down? She can do anything she wants to with okay. it. You don't have any rights over that. Let me say this to you two people. Um, I, I, I think you got what you you got what you got because you wanted what you wanted. And then when you got it, it wasn't what you thought it was. Big balling is not the answer. It's foundation money that you have, should have, not flash money. And you've got two children. You have got to make better decisions about what it is you want in the right now because if you keep getting what you want right now, you'll never have what you need in the future to take care of the children that you have. Mr. Lee, you need to get up off this idea of what a, what a good woman is. It's just, you know... Uh, a good maid and a housekeeper and all of that kind of stuff. You got to get off of that. Okay. You know? From today forward, the most preeminent notion in both of your minds is learning to deal with one another in a rational fashion that will not allow you to rain on that child you made together. Please behave accordingly. There will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. All rise. Parties may leave the courtroom. Felicia says she served Corey a 30-day notice to vacate her apartment, and she is thrilled to have Corey out of her life once and for all. She looks forward to finding happiness with someone else. Corey says he is happy not to be with Felicia. He has another baby on the way with another woman, and for now, he is concentrating on being single and taking care of himself.